YouTube Live, and today I'm going to show you how I made a fun card and tag with the Christmas Scotty Stamp Set Bundle, which is one of the cute new ones from the current um, July to December 2022 mini catalog from Stampin' Up! So it's, like I said, it's a really fun and a little cute stamp set. And, oh, yo, 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 I'm looking and I'm like, I'm all way crazily crooked again. <laughs> I don't know why I can't ever get it set up right. So, all right, so hopefully that's a little better. All right, so let's talk um, really quickly about uh, what we've got here and what we're doing today. So this is the card, and um, like I said, it's it's a pretty simple little card. Um, just made it and a little tag to go with it. And um, hey, Karen and Connie, thanks so much, and glad that you're liking the, the little, little project today. So it's, it's definitely a cute little stamp set bundle. Um, so kind of kept the... Sort of tradi traditional uh, Scotty colors, I think, traditionally, they're the little black dogs, I think. I don't know. I, I know they come in other colors, but I think this is kind of the traditional. And then added the red for a little bit of Christmas. Um, so that's what we're making today. This is the stamp set, and uh, it's really cute. Like I said, it's just got the cute little dog image and the bow that you actually can cut out. And this is a, kind of like a layer on the bow. I don't know how well it shows up in the video, but um, hopefully you'll be able to see it. Um, when you stamp the second image on top of it, it sort of gives it the look of a tied bow. At least that's what the idea is. So I don't know if it really looks like that or not. Um, but that's the idea with it. So there's a little bow here. So you've got your punch that coordinates with it that has a stamp and the little dog image that you can punch out with it. Um, hey, Carol, thanks for hopping in today. Um, and Danette's here as well, so thanks for joining. Um, there's the larger kind of plaid image. This is obviously um, smaller than what the actual images are. So there's a little plaid image that you can stamp and punch out, or you can use it as your background or whatever. So just definitely some cute little uh, images and sentiments in that one. Um, and like I said, and then a little punch, a couple other things that I used on the projects today. I used the, um, stitched rectangle dies and I'm thinking that it was the, yep, the second to the largest. And then I think it was the, yep, the, uh, fourth from the smallest, if that makes sense. So, so we got one, two, three, four, um, fourth from the smallest of the wider rectangles. So, Hey, Corinne, thanks for hopping in. And I appreciate that. Um, so I did use those on my, uh, project today on my card today and then I also use the tailor-made tags die and it's the largest one that I use to make the, the little tag um, now if you don't need a Christmas tag and you like the look of the tag you can certainly make it and put it on the front of a card instead um, but I just figured that it would be cute to do it um, if you're going to add a little Christmas card and a tag uh, for a gift that you're given I thought that'd be kind of fun so hey Shelly thanks for joining and Christy's here it looks like and Cindy as well all right, um, before we get going, just wanted to remind you that um, there are some back to school tax holidays happening. A couple of them are going on this weekend, so pay attention if you're in one of those states. And there are a list of items that from the Stampin' Up! catalog that qualify for um, tax-free holidays. So yay for that. Uh, I'll be posting the details about the tax holiday when I post the details for my card tomorrow around uh, 8 o'clock in the morning Eastern time. So you can take a peek there if you're interested or haven't seen any of the information on it yet. So it'll all be linked up in the blog post tomorrow. And again, all the details for this project will be in the blog post tomorrow as well. So um, you'll be able to find everything there and I'll link it up in the description of the video so you can find it later on. All right, so let's get going on the card. So this is the Gingham Cottage Designer Series Paper, or one of the pieces from the Designer Series Paper Pack. Um, and it's obviously real red, and it's got kind of the two-tone red on one side, and then the kind of wider uh, plaid-ish, I don't know, gingham-ish look on the back, uh, except for it's wide, much wider. So I wanted a little bit smaller look behind the dog because I thought it would be a little more, I don't know, fitting for the size of the project. And I've got a piece of basic black cardstock that we're going to adhere that to. The basic black cardstock is cut to about four and seven eighths by three and a half. And then again, this is the second from the largest of the stitched rectangle dies. So, um, oh, thanks. I appreciate that, Cindy. I'm glad you're liking that. The, the uh, stamp set bundle is really cute. And I think you can use it really for birthdays or, I don't know, just a general hello card or whatever. It doesn't have to be Christmas. I made this one specifically Christmas, but um, certainly don't need to make it. Just don't need to just use it for Christmas. So, all right, so we are adhering those two together with some stamp and seal. 
And then ahead of time, I also cut a piece of the perfectly penciled designer series paper. This is in the annual catalog actually. And it's cut to about um, an inch and three quarters wide. And then I use that same die, the um, second largest of these stitch rectangle dies. And I just cut that panel of uh, designer series paper with that same die so that it would have the stitched edge on it as well. And we're just gonna adhere it together. You just ordered the set, yeah, it's a cute one. You're gonna have lots of fun playing with it. Um, we're gonna adhere that together with some stamp and seal. And um, I don't know, it doesn't need to be exactly, exactly in the middle. Um, just generally wanted it to be about centered top to bottom on here. Um, but I'm not gonna actually sit and measure it. It's probably, I don't know, I'm sure it's not exactly centered. Looks a little bit higher than it should be, but I think it's close enough. All right, um, then I'm gonna take some stamp and dimensionals and we are gonna adhere this to the card front. And um, the card base that in my original card was four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half across the top. This one is a card base that is five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. Um, so this is one of those cards that you can definitely use either way. Um, hopefully you can see how I cut my stamp and dimensionals because I didn't have enough of them here. So I cut my stamp and dimensionals in half because I prefer the size of those over the full size stamp and dimensionals. Um, but again, if you don't like the half size ones, I know it drives some people crazy. Um, you certainly can use the, uh, the full size stamp and dimensionals. All right, I'm going to take this and try to adhere it again, get it centered top to bottom and side to side. All right, I think we've got that pretty well on the card front. Um, then I also did this ahead of time, did a little bit of cutting. Um, this is a panel of basic white cardstock that I have got cut, cut with the fourth from the smallest. So it's one of the smaller of the wide rectangles. Um, so I've got that cut and we're gonna grab our Stamparatus in Tuxedo Black Memento Ink. And I went ahead and set up the little dogs on here already. We're gonna need uh, two of the dogs. Uh, images for the project that we're making today. And I've got a little, I see you can see a little, definitely a scrap of basic white cardstock. And then I've got Tuxedo Black Memento Ink. Hey, Julie, thanks for hopping in. Um, and I'm going to ink this up as best I can with the Tuxedo Black. And I've got my piece of paper kind of shoved up into the corner so that uh, I should be able to get it placed in the same spot. And I see that I totally missed the ear <laughs> because I was talking and not paying any attention. Uh, but that's why I'm using the Stamparatus on it because um, I don't know for Tuxedo Black because it's one of the linen uh, style ink pads. It's a little harder to get a good solid image with just one inking. Um, usually it takes two or three for me to get an image that I think is dark enough that I am happy with um, when I'm using it just to stamp a kind of a larger, more solid image. So, all right. You're gonna do that with your large ones. I actually much prefer the size of them that way. I don't know, I know, like I said, I know some people look at it and they're like, oh, I just, <laughs> I can't believe you cut them up, but I don't know. I just find that they fit better in so many places when I do that. Um, I like them for the back of sentiments and things. And on top of that, they're just as sticky when it's a half dimensional as it is when, <laughs> when it's a whole one. So, all right, so I got, after the second image, I feel like I got a pretty good, pretty good inked image on that one. And I've got my little Scotty Dog punch, and I'm just going to line up the image inside the punch and then punch it out. And then I will put my scraps aside. And I think we'll go ahead and um, eh, I guess we can probably go ahead and stamp the sentiment on here. I was thinking that we need to put the dog on first, but I think we're okay stamping the sentiment on here. So I've got the Merry Christmas sentiment in real red ink. Um, that we're going to be stamping the sentiment in. Again, it's on my pre-cut um, panel of basic white cardstock that I've cut with one of the stitched rectangle dies, and hopefully I'll get it straight and get a good image on it. If not, I can always pull out some more. Yep, looks like a pretty decent image. Um, I can always pull out some more cardstock. While I'm doing that, I'm going to be, you know, I don't know, a little bit uh, crazy and leave my ink pad open because I'm going to be using it in just one second to stamp the little bow uh, for the dog. And I'll probably drop my doggy right in it. But I'm going to add a couple stampin' dimensionals to the back of the dog image. And then we are going to stick that here on the little panel with the sentiment. All right. Uh, punch come, does the punch come with the stamp set? It does if you order it as a bundle. There are two options in the catalog. You can either get it as just the stamp set and just the punch, or you can do it as a bundle. So just make sure you look for the bundle item number, and then you get the stamp set with the punch. So, um, 
using the stamp brush but haven't ordered yeah it's i use it a lot for images like that where i want to get a good solid um inking on something um like i said for whatever reason the tuxedo black i struggle with a little bit because it's the older style linen pad so all right um so I'm, i've got the two um bow dot images here and real red ink and i'm just going to take them and stamp them hopefully one on top of the other hopefully you can see what i'm doing here and then like i said it's not a really like extremely detailed or lots of of um you can really tell that it's stamped off or stamped a second time to give it more of like a 3d look to it but hopefully you can kind of see it as i'm holding it up here so all right so let me get this out of the way and close that up and grab my punch back again. And the bow actually is another one of the items that you can punch with the punch and not just the dog. So you can do the bow as well. And we'll take a little glue dot and we'll stick that on our little puppy here. And we're actually getting close to being done with the card front. So like I said, it's a pretty simple little project, um, but I thought it was kind of cute. So, hey Penny, thanks for hopping in. I agree, the Stamparatus, I use it a lot for, for this kind of project. I don't pull it out probably as often as I should, um, but it is handy and definitely works great. Um, as long as you can get the paper to fit up in the corner like that, then it's really super easy to use. And if not, there are the magnets on the back. Just be careful of the magnets because they are a little snappy. <laughs> They'll catch your fingers in there, so. Um, so, so I'm going to take a white eraser over the solid image to clean it up. It does, um, but, and actually with the regular ink pads, I don't have too much trouble with it. It's just this, the um, tuxedo black for whatever reason, because it's that um, linen style pad for me, I don't get as good of an image with it when I do that. So, um, so that's why I usually pull out the Stamparatus. All right. So I've got my, um, I've adhered the, the little layered um, sentiment here to the card front with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And then we've got the uh, Festive Pearls is actually what these are called. They're, the label is red and green, but they're actually called Festive in the catalog. So it's a whole bunch of different colors of uh, pearls here. And I'm just going to grab one of the little gold ones and put it down here next to the sentiment. And the card front's done. So pretty simple, just a little bit of layering, a little bit of stamping. Uh, on the inside of the card, oh, there we go. I've got some basic white cardstock, and then I've got another one of the sentiments from the um, Christmas Scotty stamp set in real red ink, and it says the, um, I think it's, what does it say? May your days be furry and bright. So, oh, so cute. <laughs> so anyway, well, like I said, it's, it's a fun little stamp set and uh, cute sentiments. All right, stamp that in real red ink, and then I'm going to add a little strip of the um, real red gingham paper from the gingham cottage designer series paper. And it's just a little trimmed off piece um, that I had left over from when, from when I cut the uh, card front. So I've got that and we're just going to adhere the two pieces together here. Hopefully I'll get it on here somewhat straight. All right. Using a little stamp and seal to do that. Um, Need to add the, yes, you need to add this bundle to you. I can't believe you don't have it, Carol. <laughs> it's a really cute one. So, all right, I'm going to adhere this to the inside of the card base, and we'll be all done with the card. And then the tag is actually pretty quick as well. Um, just a little bit of stamping and basically the same, same basic pieces uh, that I used for the card. All right, so adhere that to the inside of the card base. And then I'm going to fold it closed here and give it a little crease with the bone folder. So that's it for the card. Um, on the tag, I'm going to show you my Stamparatus here. I've got it set up with this little puppy, the, the one that we used initially. So the Stamparatus, if you're not familiar with it, the um, plate that you actually stamp with is removable. You just have to stand it straight up, stand the plate straight up, and then it lifts right out of the hinges. And then you can flip it over and again put it straight down in. And now you've got, you can use the back side of it. So we're going to be using that to stamp the cute little puppy on the other side. All right. Uh, so let me grab, where in the world did I put my piece of card? Oh, there it is. I was trying to be like all organized because I knew I had two projects and then I got like too organized and I lost my paper. All right, <laughs> so I've got the little puppy. This is the puppy that's kind of um, standing up on its hind legs is what it looks like to me. And I've put that on the Stamparatus already. And again, I've got the Tuxedo Black Memento ink and just a piece of basic white cardstock that I've got pushed up into the corner of the Stamparatus. Um, when you're using the Stamparatus with your photopolymer stamps, because they don't have the extra uh, foam backing on them, there's a foam piece that comes with the Stamparatus. So you want to make sure that that is in place uh, when you're doing your stamping with a photopolymer 
images uh, so that you'll get a nice good image with it. Um, otherwise, it's kind of the base is too deep and they, the I don't know, it stamps a little weird. It's not that you can't do it, it just doesn't stamp very well. So, all right, so again, just taking my Tuxedo Black Memento ink and trying to get a good solid image on the little doggy, making sure I have it pushed up in the corner and then stamping it a second time. And give it a little press here. He does look funny without his ear. <laughs> I know, I know, Karen, <laughs> but I fixed it. All right, so let's close this up. Um, so hopefully I don't end up with ink all over the place. And then I'm gonna grab my TaylorMade Tags dies. And I've got the largest one here. And I'm just gonna put it around the little puppy and try to keep as much of him or her in there as I can. Um, I think we'll do it about right there and because we've got his tail and his paws in there and so I'm gonna run this through the die cutting machine which is off here to my left hand side so I'm gonna be off screen for one second while I run this through and of course my nose is dripping All right. I don't know if any of you are in Kentucky or uh, uh, where is the other one at? Las Vegas, but goodness, it's, there's some crazy rain stuff going on. We've had just a tiny little bit of rain here, nothing like what you all are getting, but goodness, what a mess. So, all right, so we've got our little puppy all cut out with the tailor-made tags dies. And then I added, the, there's a sentiment in the die set, or stamp set that says woof, and that's actually what I'm, <laughs> what I'm gonna put underneath here. Um, again, real red ink, and we're just gonna stamp the um, sentiment right underneath the puppy. And we'll just put it right about there call that good and then I've got a little again just a little piece of the trimmed off um, uh, gingham cottage designer series paper um, again this is just a piece that was left over after I cut one of the the um, card fronts and I'm going to grab that same tailor-made tags die and I'm just going to to basically use it to cut out the very end uh, or a little just a little I don't know a little um, maybe half an inch five-eighths of an inch piece of that same designer series paper that we're gonna run right across the bottom of the tag. So hang on a second, I'll be right back with the die cutting. Oh, hopefully, there we go, got that. Um, the other thing that I probably forgot to mention as I was working with the dies is all of the larger kind of rectangular or straight edge dies. I usually try to put those through the die cutting machine at a little bit of an angle just because if you put it straight through, a lot of times it'll hit the roller and there'll be like a big thump and you really have to crank to get your um, die to go through the machine. If you put it through at just a slight angle, it rolls over much, much smoother and you don't get that big thump. Um, so. That's my tip for using the, the straight edge dies, whether it's the tag die or the rectangle die, whatever, if it's got a straight edge on it, put it through a little sideways and um, it works like a charm. All right, so I've got a little bit of stamp and seal that I'm gonna be putting here on the tag and my little strip that I have cut ahead of time, or cut um, from the Gingham Cottage Designer Series paper. And just gonna take that stick the two together. And then the last, well, second to the last thing here is I've got a little bit of the black and white quarter of an inch gingham ribbon. And I'm just gonna take a little piece of that and pull it through the top of the tag. And I'm just gonna take it and fold it, take, I don't know, it's probably six inches or so of it, fold it in half and then squish it through the top of the tag here, the folded side first. All right. Now that I've made sure that I've got everything um, good as far as the length and that I'm not gonna run short on it, I can snip off, hopefully, there we go. Snip off a little bit of ribbon here and then got the loop on the front and I'm just gonna pull the tails of the ribbon through the, the um, and I did it totally backwards. I should have gone the other way around. <laughs> I knew as I was putting it, I'm like, wait a minute, this doesn't seem right. So never mind. So you can just like subtract out what you just saw a second ago. Fold it in half, about a six inch length of, of the ribbon, and then tuck it through so that the loop goes to the back first. <laughs> Those of you that have done this before are probably screaming at me, stop, as I was pulling it through the wrong way. Then pull your little ends through and pull it tight. And then you've got a nicer look on the front rather than looking like, you know, the back of the, 
the tag is supposed to. <laughs> so, all right, and then I can take my little, um, I didn't grab my ribbon scissors today, Karen, so I'll have to hack it with my paper snips, which this ribbon is pretty thin and fairly forgiving, so hopefully I won't hack it up too much. All right, trimming those down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna add one more of the little festive pearls, the gold ones here next to the sentiment. And, oh, I realized I forgot to put the bow on the dog. Almost, almost finished it too quickly, so almost done. A uh, little bit more stamping here. I've got my little piece of basic white cardstock, and we're gonna do the same bow again in real red ink. And stamp the larger bow first. And then come back and stamp the kind of layered bow over the top of it, again, in real red ink. Um, same color, same stamped image. All right, there we go. I think we got a decent one. Yeah, you do need to add this to your list. I can't believe, again, I can't believe y'all didn't buy this. This is like way on the top of my list <laughs> between that and the fall stamp sets. Yeah, this one was one of the first ones that I got because it's just way too cute. Again, using that same punch, um, we're just going to punch out the little bow. Use a glue dot to stick them together. Um, I know you do need to send me a reminder. <laughs> uh, is the ribbon back in stock again? Uh, you know, I did not check. Uh, I will have to check after the video is done because I don't have an easy way to access the, um, the list. But uh, if you go to the online store, go to stampitup.com and just enter in uh, the gingham ribbon, it'll pop up and tell you whether it's available or not. But um, anyhow, but I can check afterwards and let you know. All right, so there we go. That's it. Tag done. Card done. Yay for another Christmas card and a tag done coordinating with it. So I have two of them actually ready to go. Um, so that's it for my project today. So next week, actually, it's going to be a little crazy. Um, I'm going to need to change the time. on my. Normally, I do Tuesday at 2 o'clock, but it's going to be Tuesday at 4 o'clock Eastern time, a little bit later in the day, and I'll post updates and reminders about all that on Facebook Live. And then next weekend, I'm taking off my dad's um, 80th birthday is actually coming up, and we're doing a little get-together with him next weekend. So I will not be doing a live at all on Friday, which is, I think that's like the 5th or 6th of August, whatever that Friday is. I will not be going live. So you can catch me live on Facebook around 2 o'clock Eastern time on um, Tuesday, around 2 o'clock, around 4 o'clock Eastern time on Tuesday. And then um, we can, I'll catch up with you again then the following week. So let me know if you have any questions. Again, all the details for this will post on my blog uh, tomorrow, which is Saturday around eight o'clock Eastern time in the morning. So you can check out all the cardstock cuts and find all the stuff that I used. And um, Karen's saying she thinks that it's back in stock. I think it is too. I think it is too. I'm not, again, I can't say for sure, but I think it is. All right, that's all that I have for today. Have a wonderful weekend and we will chat soon.